In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an importance performance map analysis in Smart PLS 4. Let's say we want to predict burnout from management and figure out which predictor would be the most important to focus on in order to affect burnout from management. Well, we have this model where we theorize that many things affect both directly and indirectly burnout from management. We can do an importance performance map analysis to figure out which variables are good predictors and how well those latent variables perform. So the way to do that is to go to Calculate and select Important Performance Map Analysis, IPMA. Select a target construct. This will be some endogenous construct in your model. I've chosen Burnout for Management. And then you can choose either direct only or direct and indirect prediction. I'm going to use all, that is direct and indirect. And then hit Start. Once it's done, in the constructs, you'll see instead of R square, we have latent variable performance. That is, how well are we actually measuring the construct? And then on the inner model, we have the total effects, which is how important are those predictors for affecting the outcome? We can see here that management unfairness has a strong importance, as does unsupportive loss. We can actually visualize this by highlighting paths using absolute values. The thicker the path, the more important it is as a predictor. We can also see in the report, if we go to quality criteria and open up the constructs, unstandardized effects right here, this is different from the indicators. Go to the constructs, click on importance performance map, and you'll get a visual representation of the importance on the x-axis and the performance on the y-axis. If you'd like to export this, click export chart and hit export and it will save it to your clipboard. I'm going to paste it over in a PowerPoint and label over it in order to explain it a little bit better. Here we go. So like I said, the total effect or importance is on the x-axis, which is more or less the predictive power or the relative influence that predictor has on the outcome target variable. And then the performance is on the y-axis. That is how well do we actually measure the predictor? So the higher on the x-axis and the higher on the y-axis, the better. From what we can see, this variable right here, management unfairness, is both the most important predictor and performs the best. Close behind it in importance is unsupportive boss. And then these guys, ethical concerns and resource demand gap, have very little effect on burnout for management, although they are measured fairly well. So from a practical standpoint, if I were to put resources somewhere, apply money to fix a problem, I would try to focus on management unfairness and unsupportive bosses, as this should get me the most impact in influencing burnout for management. And that's it. Now you know how to do an importance performance map analysis in Smart PLS 4.